We begin in the middleweight division and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. He recently moved up a weight class to challenge for the light heavyweight belt back at Collision 6. As a professional, 15 wins versus just one loss. 12 of those 15 wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.94 meters, he weighed in at 186.1 pounds, 84.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco and ranked number nine in the Glory World Rankings, here is Mohamed Tushazi. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a three-time German national champion, making his second glory start. As a professional, 18 wins with three losses, three of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet even, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at 186.7 pounds, 84.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of Cameroon and is ranked number seven in the Glory World Rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Brees the Reaper Combo. <laughs> the third man inside the Glory Ropes, your referee is Niels Burskins. Gentlemen, glory, glory fight, fight, three rounds, three minutes, you know the rules, make, make it a good and clean fight. fight. Shake hands if you like, back to your corner. A very loud crowd here in Rotterdam, in Netherlands for glory number 90. We kick things off in the middleweight division. This man is all business. Brees Kambu is as confident as they come. He is okay, has the ready. white gloves fight. in the red trunks. Mohamed Tushashi, he has the black gloves and the black trunks. We're starting off right away, Joseph. No feeling out here. And Tushashi's got a very good left kick. He changed levels. He's just thrown four of them in a row. Wow. You're going to see a great style from Tushashi. Good jab, nice straight punches, good left kicks. Where Kambu's going to just sit and look for that right hand. Kambu also said he wanted to attack the legs of Tushashi. Yep, he knows he's the shorter fighter. Tushashi's got this height to him, so even already you see him throwing that right hand to the body, low kicks, trying to set things upstairs. Mohamed Tushashi's coming off his first. Oh, no, no, no. Defeat. One, two, Yes, and three, he knocks Kambu down. What a shot, five, Joseph. Yeah, they opened up Seven, at the same time, but Tushashi got eight, the best of it. Fight! One knockdown in the opening round. Here comes Tushashi now. Look at him go! Exchange! Flying knee from Kambu. Step back. This is the excitement we know from Tushashi. Once he has you hurt, he goes after you. Oh, uppercut! Quick! Kambu still pressure. Step back. Absolutely. Kambu can take a shot, there's no doubt about it. Oh, he got you! Puts him down again! Two! Second three, knockdown four, for Tusashi! Five! Six! One seven, more, and eight. this fight is over! Fight! It's these fast counters of Tusashi right here. You'll see him open up. Just as soon as Kambu opens up, he lifts his chin and then Tushashi touches him. Kambu's legs are wobbly. He falls down again. Over and out. Okay. Mohamed Tushashi quickly erases the memory of his first ever defeat. He came in fast. He came in aggressive. I don't know anyone who starts a fight off with four head kicks in a row. He wanted to finish. Good counters. He knew Kambu every time he opened up, his chin rose up, and then Tushashi took advantage of it. Beautiful finish by the man known as Little Botter, 22 years old, 13 years younger than Breeze Kambu, and he put on a striking clinic tonight. Yeah, Kambu was a little wide when he threw, so Tushashi was able to come inside and just beat him to the punch. And there he threw a nice hand, right hand and then exited out. Look at those quick punches. He beats Kambu to the punch, sees the blood, and then goes for it. What a performance. 
He said the lessons he learned from that first professional defeat was that, you know, mentally I had to get over it, put it behind me. Coach Big Mike, of course, helped him through it. Said, listen, the ghost is out of the closet. No more pressure. Just go in, concentrate on becoming a champ. Build up some mental toughness after that first loss. And wow, what a performance by the 22-year-old as he gets a hug from Big Mike. Oh, yeah. And Big Mike, I have to say, one of the best coaches. And what he does really well is he instills such great confidence in his young yes. fighters. And as a young fighter, if Big Mike tells you, you can do it. These guys really take it serious and embrace that those words, and then they fight so confidently. So it's a really amazing to see Mike really mind and mold these young fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an end with an official time of one minute, 52 seconds of that very first round by way of the glory maximum knockdown rule and is ruled a technical knockout. For your winner, Mohammed Tushazi. I'm here with your winner, Mohammed Tushashi. Quick work tonight, how do you feel? You know, I feel amazing today. Uh, Rush Kumbu, he's a tough opponent. I trained hard for him, so I'm glad that he, uh, made, he was here and uh, made the fight. You came in quick after that loss, moving up in weight. How was your confidence and feeling coming in here tonight? Of course I have. I had something to prove for myself, but uh, I'm happy how, uh, how it was going today. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best things about a nice finish is we get to watch them together now. Yeah. So we're going to look at the screen, and I want you to take me through what you saw and what you felt in there. Yeah, what you see there is a right cross. I trained uh, a lot with Mike uh, because we know his left hand, he let his... Uh, was that Zaka? He let, uh, he let his down his uh, left hand. Yeah. Nice, nice. It looked like you were beating him to the punches. He was wide and you were nice and straight. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, man. All right. Now, we know there's a lot of big things happening in 2024. What's the future like for Mohamed Tusashi? And I can say 23 was just the warm-up. 24 will be the takeover. Oh! All right, let's hear it for your winner, Mohamed Tusashi.